I'm here with Christina from Fig, who make the most fantastic handmade bags for our products. And do you know what? They're celebrating a very special anniversary today. Christina, tell me about Fig and, and how old Fig is and what you're celebrating here. Um, so Fig is, uh, we, we launched here five, four years ago, but we've been at the show five years. And uh, it's four years ago today that we did, uh, that we first, first came here. Um, so yeah. And, and, and tell me what makes your bags special. I mean, I guess the first thing is that they're coming from someone who has been a photographer. Yeah, so I used to be a professional photographer and um, I just got fed up of the bags that I was carrying around. Uh, they looked like I was going hiking. They just, they just weren't aesthetically pleasing. pleasing. So um, I started to design what I might like in a camera bag that might look good, but stylish, but also very functional as a camera bag. Um, and so I wanted something that was quite classic, that would never date. And uh, I came up with um, leather bags and I was very passionate about them being handmade in England. This is um, a bag that is uh, launching here at the show this year. It's a brand new one. So it's like a traditional um, satchel bag, which is like our other ones that we have. Mm. But um, what's different about this one is um, it's configured into a rucksack. So you still have the satchel style um, but yet you can carry it around and be hands-free so you, if you bike if you're in the um, on the tube around it's just more versatile on your back but yet the um, rucksack straps convert into a strap on your shoulder so you can use it three ways by the handle the rucksack on your back or you can have the strap over your shoulder and on the, let's have a look on the inside as well there we go if you open it up they've got the quick release buckles for ease of use Inside, they're fully padded like a traditional camera bag. You've got your internal pocket. You've got your, um, the shoulder strap, like I said, on the outside. And then they come with configurable inners, so you can customize it to whatever kit you've got going in there. Yeah, so dividers, are they like Vel Velcro dividers? Yeah, Velcro or? padded dividers, yeah. So um, like a traditional camera bag that you would find, they're, it's, they're, they're configured the same internally. Now, sp speaking of tradition here, this is a very traditional colour, you might say, for uh, for a leather satchel. But some of your other colour choices across your range are uh, are classic, but um, brighter. Where, what's the inspiration for the colour choice behind many of your bags, like the ones we're seeing over your shoulder at the moment? So, in terms of our yellow one behind our tan, that's our most popular. Our yellow is actually our second best seller, right. um, and um, it's. Uh, I just wanted to offer something that was that looked nice, stood out, but wasn't too in your face. And the mustard yellow, I think, is quite a classic, a, a classic colour um, that kind of goes with every outfit because it's trying to find a colour that does go with every outfit that doesn't clash too much, but it's not too, you know, too vibrant and you stand out. Because a lot of photographers, particularly in the wedding industry where we sell a lot of our bags to, like to be discreet. Um, so it's trying to find something that is still, you know, offering them a little bit of individuality without standing out too much. And I think the yellow, because they're made from a vintage leather, so they age really nicely and quite quickly. The yellow kind of dulls down a, quite a bit once you've worn it in. So it looks, yeah, they, they look good as they get older. They look, they get better with age. Listen, Christina, thank you so much for bringing your fig bags and for launching a new one here. And uh, happy figgy birthday. Thank you very much, David. Cheers. <laughs>